All right, so before I begin, I just want to say thank you so much for 1500 subscribers. It's actually, it's very crazy because only a couple months ago we were at not even a thousand. So now we're at 1500 and we're already getting close to 1600. So I just want to thank you guys. Uh, this is going to be my gaming setup video. Uh, I'm going to cut to that. Uh, but I just want to say again, thank you. And if we could reach 1600 by the end of March, that would be insane. And we might as well just try to reach like 20 likes on this video or something. I'm feeling good. So 20 likes on this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Ask any questions in the comment section below and I'll, I'll make sure to respond. All right, let's get to the video. Alrighty, and this is my gaming setup. Actually, I went around and dusted it off a bit uh, because I actually haven't been here this whole week. Uh, the videos you guys saw that I've been uploading like every two days, they were actually all recorded within two days and they were just, you know, spaced out. So all those videos are uploaded and now time for my gaming setup video. Now, if you guys haven't seen any of my videos then you wouldn't see this setup, but for most of my videos, this is mainly in the background and I might even record like an unboxing or something right here. So we're just gonna start from left uh, to right. I'm gonna cover everything that's on top, on the bottom right there, ignore the trash. And yeah, uh, all the links will be down in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, leave them in the comment section below and I will respond. So let's get started with this right here. So this is the PS4. This is the first one that was released. You guys can see my reflection right there. Uh, it was the first one that was released. It, it's been beeping randomly for some reason. Um, I know that's a common problem, but yeah, it still works and I'll still use it. We got a two terabyte hard drive plugged into this beast because it only has 500 gigs and that's not enough for, for games anymore. It only fits maybe eight games and then you run out of storage and you're screwed. You have to delete a game. So I bought the two terabyte SSD and as you can see right here, I have a, like a, a USB hub because I ran out of USB ports. This PS4 only has two in the front, doesn't have any on the back. So one plugs into the USB hub where I could plug in my headset and, you know, charge my controller. The other one plugs into uh, the, the, what do you call it? The hard drive, the external hard drive. That one, by the way, is uh, Western Digital Elements or something like that. PS4 controller, just a digital, digital urban camo or modern camo, I forgot what it was called. I've got internet router right there, nothing special from Netgear, and it's like six or seven years old or something. Um, and now, instead of going over here, we're gonna come down here. All right, so the lighting might be a little bad here, but as you can see, there's no drawer, just because I wanted some extra room, and I actually don't even know what happened to them, but we got two cans of compressed air, that's to clean the dust from the PS4, from my computer, you know, keyboard, all that good stuff for my electronics. And we got a bunch of games here. So we got this pile right here. And then if I take this off, we got another pile. Now, Advanced Warfare, worst Call of Duty game of all time. We got some good ones here. Black Ops 3 is missing, but it's still mine. Uh, it's just somewhere else right now. Uh, the Division, which isn't actually mine. I actually borrowed it, uh, but it's, it's a good game. Man, I'm already out of breath. It's a good game. Uh, I still got a long way to go to pass it and I haven't really been playing it much, but I'm gonna finish it. I'm determined. Got headset charger, which also charges my controller. We got the blue Yeti microphone over there in the back and a couple extra, I don't even know what that is, like some extra cables or something. Oh yeah, and the headset. I actually bought this little anchor thing. So it sticks to the top, to the ceiling of this little thing, the uh, 3M tape, and it gives you you know, two slots to put a headset. You could put headsets on both sides, or you could put a headset and, you know, a cable or something. And it just keeps it very organized and stuff. You could put it down there, up there, anywhere. You know, anywhere it could stick, and it's, it's very helpful. It was like 10 bucks on Amazon. Anyway, oh, by the way, that's a Turtle Beach Stealth 700. Still the, the best headset I've used on console. Alrighty, moving right along. Where should I go? The keyboard or the monitor? Let's go with the monitor with the background for the division. So if you guys have been following the channel for a little over a year now, you guys will know that I have this curved 32 inch display. It's a Samsung CF391. I've made a, an unboxing video, a review, um, and I believe a couple other videos, and I'm gonna have one very soon. It's kind of like an update video, but it's a very good monitor, especially for casual gaming, for playing games like Uncharted, Ratchet and Clank, GTA, even Call of Duty as long as you're not playing, you know, game battles and stuff. 
It does have a 4 millisecond response time, which is pretty fast. But you know, it, it's not a professional gaming monitor. Actually, I don't even think it's a gaming monitor, but it does have a gaming mode. It's only full HD, so you know, if you're using it on your computer like I am, you might see a little bit of pixelation on the text, and that's normal. It's just because it's a 32 inch full HD display and you sit very close to it. So, so you're gonna see some pixelation, which is one reason why my next monitor will be a 27 inch instead of a 32 inch. And it'll probably also be, you know, 1440p or 4K or something like that. Anyway, moving along, the keyboard right here is the Razer Black Widow X Chroma. I believe this one came out in 2016, maybe 2015. Uh, it is Chroma enabled, but I have the blue color because I want everything to match here. You can see blue, 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 and blue. Yes, Razer Black Widow X Chroma. I love the sound. I actually have a couple other keyboards that I had here instead. But this one, since it's Razer and I have a Razer mouse, Razer mouse pad, I want everything to be uniform, I want everything to match. I'm that type of person, that's why everything's the same color as well. Moving to the right here, we have the Razer Mamba Tournament Edition. Again from Razer, and again, chroma lighting, but it's blue. Very good mouse. Uh, there have been actually a lot of issues reported, a lot of people giving negative reviews because of the sensor and stuff. It's a, I believe it's a laser sensor. And, you know, people have had that freezing issue. I haven't experienced anything, but I'm well aware that it happens. So if you're gonna buy that mouse, just, you know, be aware of that. The mouse pad down below is the Razer Firefly, which is very pretty, but, I mean, if you want a, an RGB mouse pad, you're gonna have to use up one USB port, which I don't mind, but a lot of people might have to use that USB port for something else. And now moving on to the big dog. Right here, just kidding. This computer is from CyberPower PC. I bought it about, well, it arrived like March 10, something like that, 2016. So I've had it for about a year and oh, two weeks or something like that. And actually when I got it, the RAM sticks were white. They were 8 data XPGZ1. It was only eight gigs, but I upgraded it to 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM uh, at 3000 megahertz. Uh, the processor down there, if, if it doesn't reflect, actually, yes, yeah, turn off the light here. Um, the processor is the Intel Core i7 7700K, the KB Lake one, clocked in at 4.2 gigahertz. Uh, I actually bought it before the Ryzen ZPUs came out, so that's why you know I got the KB Lake. Actually, I probably would have still gotten the KB Lake. My next computer I will build, and it'll have the the latest Intel processor probably. Uh, the graphics card is the. GTX 1070, I'm not sure what exact model it is, but it's the 1070 from MSI, as you can see right there. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's a, like a kind of a black and white theme. I could actually change the lighting here. If I get the right remote, change it to white, and everything looks perfectly. It looks very nice. I'm actually gonna keep it like that. Um, it also didn't come with those two fans, which I did add. Those are Corsair ML140. A magnetic levitation fan. So the pro version with the white LEDs and on the top there used to be an NTXT case fan that came with the case but I actually replaced it with another ML140. They're expensive but they get the job done and they look pretty. By the way that little thing right there, right there, that goes across, uh, there's actually a fan hub in the back where all these fans are connected uh, because I only have like two or three fan ports and I have to power the one that's behind this thing and those three, so they're all connected to there. What else is in here? Oh yeah, SSD. Behind this, there's a one terabyte, you know, regular hard drive, hard drive disc. And I added this SSD like two weeks ago, and it's miles faster than the regular hard drive. This is the Samsung 860 Evo 500 gig SSD. I bought it for about 150 on Amazon. Definitely worth it, 100%. And underneath the PC right here, I have two remotes. This one actually came, well, it's, it came with the RGB strip that I have around the desk. And uh, it doesn't work for my PC, but this one that came with the PC actually works for the PC, as you can see. And it also works for the desk lighting. So I use this one all the time. This one's just here, you know, as extra, but I use this one mainly. By the way, the RGB strip on the computer right here on the side is from Deepcool. And the one on my desk is from Tautronics. These are actually all the same. You could buy it from a different brand and it'll be the same thing. Come with the same remote and all that stuff. And we got little Andy the Android right here, which I bought for like seven bucks or something on eBay. 
you know, just a little figure to have in the background. Pretty cool. And moving on behind the PC right here, we have, uh, these are the keyboards that I've been reviewing and stuff like that. We got the CyberPower PC Scorpion K1 RGB keyboard. We got a couple of wipes here to clean my desk. We got the box for the, the SSD. We got another mouse that came with the computer. We got the Umbar mouse right here, uh, an Umbar gaming keyboard, and another Umbar gaming keyboard somewhere in the bottom here. Uh, yeah, just the boxes. The keyboards are inside, actually. Uh, the only empty box here is the one for the SSD. And we got my tripod there, Amazon Basics tripod, and I just bumped my camera. By the way, I'm recording this video with my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Oh, and this thing right here. It's the, what do you call it, NZXT Puck. It sticks to the computer. You can hang it here with a headset. And you guys are probably wondering where my SteelSeries headset is for my PC. Let me explain. So I actually sold it. Yep, I sold that headset because I was saving up to buy an SSD. I do that a lot, you know, if I'm going to be upgrading my computer, I don't really want to pay everything, you know, out of my own pocket. I want to, you know, get rid of something to use for that. I play around with money and, you know, that's how I balance everything, just so, you know, I won't spend everything completely out of my own pocket. Sometimes I just buy stuff, but not in this case. Anyway, uh, this printer right here is nothing special, bought on Walmart for like, I don't remember, 50 bucks, like three years ago. Makes a lot of noise, but it's useful. I go to school, gotta use it a lot. Right below it, we have a mini fridge with a little Facebook thumbs up. And I just store a bunch of water here and, you know, nothing special. Skater eight at times. Uh, that's not my guitar, by the way. Anyway, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Again, let's try to reach uh, 20 likes in this video and 1,600 subscribers by the end of March. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a great day.